everyone, today I am going to be looking into my favorite workout songs. Uh, yes, these ones uh, I think are uh, very, uh, they, I think these kinds of songs in particular I think vary for various people. Um, and I know that it can be um, a rather difficult list to compile because I mean what what gets people pumped up to go work out I think varies and people have their own reasons for it but uh, I figured why not discuss some of the ones that do really get me energized and uh, pumped up so without further ado let me discuss the first song which is by Robert Preston and it is called Chicken Fat, and I'm not just referencing the song just because it was in the recent iPhone commercial. It's not just that, but again, it is where I actually got familiar with the song, and I listened to it in its entirety, actually, which the commercial doesn't really provide you, because uh, since the commercial is fairly short, uh, but it's six minutes, over six minutes long. And... This is a very interesting kind of workout song, uh, and a kind of workout song that I really enjoy listening to. Um, it has this very motivating and upbeat tone, and it's it kind of just bounces around, and <laughs> it, it makes working out, you know, not as intense, but a little bit uh, of a more enjoyable, but but still um, demanding sort of experience. Um, and it really sounds like something out of a musical. <laughs> I can just envis envision like a whole choreographed sequence with this song. Uh, it, it does have that, that feeling of, um, of presenting something where everybody's sort of following the leader and um, the main singer to uh, the various workouts that he has them go through throughout the process sort of the song. So it's it's it has this sort of funny laid back sense to it and I and I find it interesting how the song is called Chicken Fat and it's literally just about you sort of losing that weight, <laughs> losing that chicken fat that's basically um what he's addressing sort of in this song. Uh, and I want to sort of put a warning label on this song because it is very catchy. It, it will get stuck in your head. Uh, it is one of those songs, and it, it doesn't really annoy me per se, um, the fact that it does easily get stuck into my head, but uh, it may annoy some people, so I'm just kind of giving that as a sort of precursor to the song, so... Just in case anybody uh, in particular is sort of annoyed by very catchy songs. So that's really ultimately though all I can say about that song. It's fairly straightforward. It's designed to be sort of um, a uh, kind of marching band sort of anthem a, a little bit. Um, and you sort of feel like you you're on, you are in like gym class or something listening to it. So it has that sort of intensity with it, but it's also very upbeat and energetic and lively and fun and go lucky and happy. So I think it's definitely worth a listen to if you enjoy working out. So the next song that I'm going to briefly mention is one that I think a lot of people probably do have on their playlist play, um, and it is called Sur and this song is called "I Have the Tiger" by Survivor. And oh my, this song! Uh, unlike the first song that I mentioned, this one is has a lot more punch to it. Uh, it it does get you pumped up even from the way beginning, just completely just says. It, the song sort of just grabs you and says, hey, get off your butt and just go, go work out. Um, and I really like how the lyrics focus on endurance and sort of survival, which I think is sort of the process that people go through when they're working out. They're enduring the various um, 
trials and tribulations that go with working out, like um, just sweating up a storm, you know, having a very increased heart rate, you know, things like that, I think, um, really allow for people to sort of keep going <laughs> and uh, have that have that endurance within themselves to sort of continue um, with their workout. So I think that's something that's uh, really uh, empowering for people when it comes to being in this state of constantly trying to push forward. So uh, not only is it powerful within his lyrics, but the vocalist really captivates the mood of the song. And he does a really good job of bringing in that sort of punch throughout the song and sort of um, holding on those really long notes and um, bringing out that energy, I think, just really works. And it's definitely, I think, uh, a song worth recommending when it comes to working out. Uh, it'll definitely get you pumping and ready. And especially when <laughs> the first lyrics are sort of rising up, you know, some people like to go work out like early in the morning, so perfect way to start your day. <laughs> but I think that's really ultimately all I can say about the song in itself, and again, it's been in Rocky, so it only makes sense that I would reference something that has to do with Rocky, in particular when it comes to working out, since there's a lot of working out montages within Rocky films. So with that being said, let me discuss the next song. And this might also be on a lot of people's playlists, um, and it's ironic because this is the first time I'm mentioning a Disney song where the music talk doesn't have to necessarily do with Disney or do with cartoons. And this is the song I'll Make a Man Out of You by Mulan. And I would say Mulan is really not one of my favorites uh, when it comes to Disney, but this song definitely pumps you up. Uh, it does give you a catchy uh, sort of chorus and it, it provides this sense of build up throughout the song, you know, as as Mulan's sort of going through her training, she starts off, you know, having difficulty and then later on you see how ultimately she rises above that difficulty and, you know, ultimately achieves something. So uh, that's really something that I think motivates a lot of people when they go work out is just a sense of, of, of build up as they go through the workout. So definitely provides a good, good, good sense of motivation. Um, and, and a, and not only is it cat, um, catchy in the sense of being very goofy with its lyrics, um, it's, it offers sort of that sort of inspiration to, to people that you can, uh, go above and beyond and you can maybe do something that maybe you haven't done uh, and usually people like to go above and beyond when they do their workouts sometimes or you know go that extra mile or go that extra um, however long time they have to work out so uh, I think this definitely is one of those songs that I think really brings out the energy so I think it's definitely worth recommending as one to have fun um, as one to have fun with and also enjoy while hitting that gym. Now the second to last song I'm going to mention is, is um, the most intense I would say out of the list and this is Thunderstruck by ACDC. Um, this song is very edgy um, and has a sense of build-up as well. It really does get your adrenaline pumping. Um, I think if you're, you know, you're, you're jumping rope, this is, this is definitely a good song to, to have playing. Um, and again, the song is, is more of like a party song. You know, ACDC is kind of famous for doing sort of like party-oriented kind of songs where everything's really crazy and obnoxious. But, um, but I think the, the tone of the song and the instrumentals that accompany the song really work to that um, workout intensity. And I think it captures it really well, regardless of what really the lyrics are saying. I think it gives that people that that rush um, and that 
uh, ability to sort of excel. So that's, I think, something that's definitely um, unique in regards to this song compared to a lot of the other songs that I have been mentioning on this list. So definitely worth recommending. And the last one I'm going to briefly address is Queen's song, We Will Rock You. Now, this again sort of has a little bit of that rock grit like the ACDC song does, but I feel like the lyrics are more um, based on actually addressing someone, uh, and I think in a way that can relate to somebody who's working out, you know, like, you know, just get off. Get off the couch, get off from wherever you are. It's time to do some work outing and some work. Um, and, uh, it's not only, um, insistent in its approach, it's also sort of, you know, demanding and also sort of, you know, <laughs> looking down at the audience sort of and saying, like, you know, you got mud on your face, you know, you're a big disgrace, like, just, you know, you need to, you, you know, you need to get out. It sort of brings in that idea of, you know, you need to get out of that state that you're in and um, start um, pushing yourself, I guess. And I think it really brings out that energy really well. And the instrumentals, I think, are really great, too. Um, so this offers sort of a combination of instrumentals that work, I think, when it comes to um, getting that adrenaline pumping and getting, uh, and getting yourself going. And it also provides some lyrics as well that are very relatable, I think, to, to people when it comes to, to working out. Cause I think, um, sometimes workouts are very demanding and you sort of have to perform and, um, that requires you to, and it requires you to perform so that you can ultimately achieve the goals that you want to have. So I think for this kind of song, it's really what I think it's ultimately trying to sort of say. Um, maybe not necessarily in a direct way, but sort of in an indirect way, and I think it ultimately works. But ultimately, I think that's really all I can say about these songs. I will put all the links below. Uh, if there are any questions, comments, concerns, I'd be more than happy to answer them. Thank you so much for watching, and I hope you have all a great day, month, week, and year, and I hope to see you all tomorrow in the next video where I will be taking fan requests, and I'll be sort of discussing the fan requests that I'm going to be taking in regards to these um, book review Wednesdays. So that is all, but I hope you all enjoyed this video, but uh, I must go now because there's nothing more to say. Bye-bye.